What's up, YouTube? I'm David, and this is the Weird Outdoors. Sorry for the road noise, but we are in the van on our way for an overnight trip in Hoosier National Forest. Stoked to check out this new spot and uh, see what it looks like. So. really want to get down this trail but there's a mud hole here it's not a small one <laughs> I just don't think my van can make it through that which sucks because this is where we're supposed to stay the night tonight pretty much every part of me is telling me to turn around and not attempt this but there's still like a tiny part of me that wants to give it a try if I get stuck out here I don't know <laughs> I mean, I can stay in the van tonight, but I'm not sure when uh, or how I'm going to get somebody to get me out of here if I don't make it through. I mean, most of it's probably only one to three inches deep. So it's not a deep hole. The ground under it seems solid. It doesn't It's not mud, like a soft mud pit. But then we got this right here, which is softer. But... I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think we can make it. What do you think? All right, well, we made it through it. I, uh, I wasn't sure, but uh, not too bad for a stock cargo van with some all-terrain tires on it. We're going to head the rest of the way up this trail and uh, see where it leads us and go from there. A little farther than I meant to. I think we're going to uh, just kind of back down the trail a little bit and... Uh, get parked in this little spot I saw down here. There's my mirrors. I do not have a backup camera in here. Well guys, this is home for the night. Pretty cool little area. The reason this road's even here is because back in the 1930s, Indiana was one of the few states that hasn't been, or that hadn't been uh, topographically mapped. So they didn't really know where the highest points were, uh, which made it hard for them to actually build fire towers, which is what they had out here, or watchtowers, lookout towers, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so they built their first one in the Clark State Forest, which is in Henryville, Indiana. Then they built one out here in 1938, I do believe. By 1933, or I'm sorry, by 1952, there's about 33 towers in the state of Indiana, and uh, they've taken those down now to, there's only a total of 15 in the state of Indiana, and only one in Hoosier National Forest, which I believe is the Hickory Ridge uh, Fire Tower, or Lookout Tower. And it was in use for about 40 years um, before they dismantled it in, in the 70s. Uh, pretty cool little history, I didn't really know much about it. Uh, hopefully you guys find it as somewhat interesting as I did. <laughs> I bought Anna one of these little lights. That way when we're out in the evening or night, she'll just be a little easier to see as she gets out into the tree lines. And then I got her a uh, <laughs> reflective hunter's orange collar for when we're out hike, camping, hiking. Because, uh, I mean, we're in Indiana, Kentucky, you know, it's hunting season. We don't want anybody to mistake her for a critter, so. Haven't seen anything. Haven't seen any, uh, actually haven't seen any wildlife since we've been here today, but there has been bears in the area. Um, spotted last year according to i overlander now this spot isn't on i overlander but there is one within about 20 miles or less and uh there was a bear sighting there last year so uh just to be safe we got a bear mace on us she seems to enjoy these trips just as much as i do
stuff all over my bed. I'm just gonna organize a little bit and probably get ready to cook some dinner here for too long, but just gonna kinda get everything put away right now. You need attention? Might have showed you guys these before, but I have these lights from Harbor Freight. And uh, I just use these as my little security lights at night. We don't need it on just yet, but we'll here soon. Got another one here. Stick it on this side of the van tonight. I don't think it says that they're waterproof. They're probably not, but I've had them out in the rain in, in decent storms, actually. I've left them out and they still work good, so. They're like maybe five or six bucks. I think they're worth it. Just like being able to see what's around me, especially being out here by myself. Right. I guess now that it's getting dark, I mean, there's nobody out here, but now that it's getting dark, I'm going to go ahead and put my window covers up. Get my stove out. So really the only thing I've ever cooked in my van is s'mores. So I usually cook outside, but I thought tonight might be a good uh, first try. Get my head on there. Okay, we're gonna do pie iron pizza pocket. So here we got our bread, some marinara sauce, and, uh, some pepperonis, this little cooler bag. Like I said, I try not to bring a big cooler if I don't have to. Let's see here, got us some nice, mozzarella cheese and then of course got a red bull for in the morning and a beer for right now all right well i've actually been hanging out in the van for a few minutes now uh just to uh, crack open my beer cheers guys and uh just kind of hanging out been watching a little bit of youtube i'm lucky enough to uh, have a signal tonight and uh watching a few of my favorites uh but yeah i think we're getting hungry and it's ready for dinner I'm about ready for dinner. All right, and then my butter. Uh, what I did with my butter is I had put it in this container at home and pre-mixed it. I put some, uh, just some garlic powder and some uh, Italian seasoning, so. Butter's kind of cold, so that's gonna be hard. Let's see here. Maybe we can warm it up. Let's see. We can warm it with some hot hands. I'll let that soften for a second and then we'll kick the camera back on. Stir this. It's definitely softer. It's gonna butter one side each of the bread. Got that down on low for a second. I still got my door open a little bit too, so plenty of ventilation still i could even kick my fan on or stick a fan over there if i need to but i don't i think i'll be okay all right i put you know butter on there but just to be safe i'm still gonna just do a little dusting up olive oil on the cast iron too let's see here here we'll place some butter side down on each side here all right we're gonna Stick some pepperonis on here. Heavy, heavy pepperoni. Put a good amount on there. It's got a hook in there, and then it folds over. Tear that off. I 
to check it, but I don't want to mess it up. Looks good, but it ain't done. Can you guys see it? There you go. That side's definitely done. We'll get the other side that done and we'll be good. Right. Well, we burnt it a little, but not bad. Good, and let's get this other one in here real quick. Make sure I don't touch it now. It's definitely hot. Let's see if we can get some good amount of cheese in there. Let's uh, get this one on the stove. All right, we're gonna flip this guy. It's sticking. Uh, don't open. That side's done though. I don't want it to open. This one should be done here in just a minute. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you uh, don't mind, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're not already. We're about to dive into these pizza pockets here in a minute. That side looks good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Almost burnt. I don't think I quite burned them. I like I like how they cook. That's that's how I would do it. Okay, maybe that one's burnt. But that one looks okay. Let's cut into this guy. Oh, it looks good. Dunk it in the sauce here. This might uh this might be my new favorite camp meal. Guys, this is seriously so good. I wish I could share this with you guys right now. But I did share how to make it. So make sure you give it a try and let me know what you think. I didn't forget about you, Anna. You want your dinner? Get into her little bag up here. Ah, dinner for one. I'm just gonna let her eat up here tonight so that I don't have to move right now. That was a great dinner. By far my favorite camp meal I've cooked so far. Super easy, just awesome. I wish I would've brought more butter because um, I definitely would've made a third one. Not that I need it, but I would have. And, uh, but yeah, super great meal. 10 out of 10. Definitely make it if you got the time. If you're out van camping, even at home. It's good. All right, I'm going to get my mess cleaned up and we're going to get settled in for the night. Probably take the dog out one more time and uh, just kind of relax for the evening. Maybe watch a movie or throw on something on YouTube. So, you want to go out after I clean? I got clean first. All right, let me get cleaned up and, uh, then we can go outside. Sleep good. good morning guys looks like we uh survived another night in the van nice trip so far nice calm relaxing trip Isn't that right couldn't ask for better weather in december after that arctic storm we've had now it, we had two days where it's in the upper 50s and i don't i don't think it got below 50 last night 
super comfortable to sleep in here. I actually got a little hot in my sleeping bag and had to unzip it a little bit. <laughs> We're going to uh, get some pants on and uh, take the dog out to potty. All right. We're gonna zip up and brave the elements. There you go. You can see the sun rising over there on the other side of that ridge line. Pretty cool little spot to wake up in, or wake up at, should I say. No real uh, spectacular views in the spot, but it's just a nice little secluded area to spend the night. 100% free. I'm not gonna move too fast this morning, but we're gonna relax for a few here, and then uh, I'm gonna get the van cleaned up, and we'll hit the road this morning. Might be interesting getting back out of here this morning. Uh, we're gonna have to go through that same water puddle we went through to get in here today, and it rained all last night. So we'll uh, hopefully we make it out of here without getting stuck anywhere. But I do have some recovery boards um, if I need them. So. Turn our little lights off and grab them off the van. I just gotta put this stuff away real quick and then we'll be ready to uh, try to make our way out of here. Should be all of our trash. We did uh, all the cooking of the van last night and it is starting to rain again but this should be all of our trash i'm going to uh get this tied up and we're gonna try to make our way out of here it's starting to rain pretty hard now we're going to uh let these windows unfog a little bit helps if i turn the heat on i guess let these windows unfog a little bit and uh, we're going to uh, gonna try to get turned around and then make our way down this road and, and out of here. Guys, we made it to that water crossing. We're going to uh, our puddle, should I say? It's more of a puddle than a water crossing, but we made it to that little water puddle, and uh, we're going to uh, gonna try to just blast right through it. I'm gonna attempt to film one-handed while I do it, but I can't promise how uh, steady it'll be. I should probably roll up my window first. We're just not gonna stop. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.